A lot of people think I look like Usher. And that's what my nickname is in the department. <laughs> So I'm uh, Officer Corwin Lewis. I am with the uh, Fayetteville Police Department and I've been here for about 14 and, and a half years. Um, I'm currently with the uh, traffic unit uh, slash motor, motor officer and I've uh, been military probably about four and a half active duty before uh, getting out and coming to Fayetteville Police Department. Um, did a little bit of law enforcement and security um, during that time frame. And, uh, Loved it, loved the law enforcement side, so I decided to do that when I, when I got out. As far as being a motorcycle officer, I like to, of course, ride the motorcycle, that's number one. Um, and then also be out there and, and deter uh, traffic violations, um, speeders, um, reckless driving, things like that. Um, also be able to speak with the community. Um, you need to notice that whenever you're on the motorcycle, uh, you're a bit more approachable and uh, the community wants to speak with you. So it kind of opens up that dialogue with the community. So I like that aspect of it as well. I go to uh, special events, um, do escorts for the community. When they have motorcycle rides, we do that. We provide uh, escorts for them to the city. Um, we also do uh, Bike Safe, with, uh, which is actually in North Carolina, offer a class that can be taught to civilians for free. And then we go you know, teach that classroom portion um, and then go for a long ride and then a short ride after that. If you know, still have time on the clock, we get out there and maybe do some traffic enforcement, um, slow some people down get on the major thoroughfares and, and do uh, traffic enforcement. I come to the office to do the uh, crash reports, the DMV 349s with uh, serious injuries or even uh, fatal wrecks. Um, and we just pretty much get the evidence that we've located on the scene, um, bring it back to the office and um, place those into formulas to be able to get the uh, speeds of the vehicles at the time of, the, of those crashes. The downside of being on a motorcycle officer is uh, the elements do play a you know, a bit of a factor. Sometimes you have to ride in the cold or even get caught in the rain. Um, you just got to bear with it and, and push through. Um, it does make it a little bit more difficult seeing that you're on two wheels um, instead of four. One of the most rewarding things about being a motorcycle officer, uh, one day uh, during our Door Carolina Bike Safe classes, um, a couple of the students that attended, they uh, spoke to us while we were out there just doing our normal, you know, traffic enforcement. They, they noticed us and stopped us and told us or told me that uh, they were in a situation where had they not attended that school and not been told you know, what to do in that sort of situation that probably would have been in, in a wreck and they wanted to let us know how appreciative and, and thankful that they were you know, in that class and, and was able to avoid being in an in a accident. Some of the things that I do when I'm, I'm not working is you know, I like to watch sports. You know, the Carolina Panthers are my, my team today. Yeah, I know some people might have an opinion about them, but hey, those are my team and I stick with them. Um, I, my, one of my, I guess, best qualities my friends would say is I'll probably get my shirt off my back and help them out whenever I can. If someone's out there looking to be in law enforcement or even work for a federal police department, I definitely would uh, recommend it. Um, it's, a, it's a rewarding uh, job. Um, you get to meet a lot of different people. Um, you can also, you know, affect your community if that's something that you're interested in doing by going out there and, and being a public servant. Um, so I think being a favorable police department or even a law enforcement in general, you can get that opportunity to do, to do that.